The countdown to the so-called billionaire space race. Richard Branson and his Virgin Galactic spaceships crew gearing up for a groundbreaking journey tomorrow. And transportation correspondent Gio Panitez has this story for us this morning ahead of that launch. Good morning to you, Gio. Hey, Eva, good morning to you. Listen, there's no doubt about it. Branson is looking to put on quite a show tomorrow. In fact, take a look at this because our ABC cameras were there as they set up a concert stage. It turns out pop star Khalid, he's going to be there debuting his new single tomorrow at the launch. Now we are just 24 hours away. This morning, the rivalry between billionaires turned future astronauts Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos heating up. With Branson set to launch to the edge of space tomorrow on Virgin Galactic's spaceship Unity, Bezos's Blue Origin space company is already firing shots on Twitter, posting this graphic comparing the two companies. Branson had told GMA this wasn't a space race. I, I know that it's been painted as a race. Honestly, I don't think either of us see it that way. We're not really in direct competition. But Blue Origin may disagree, saying its new Shepard flies farther than Virgin spaceship 62 miles above the surface past the Kármán line, which many believe is the true edge of space. Virgin will reach about 55 miles. But the man overseeing Virgin's launch Sunday tells ABC News that's just a play on words. The United States recognizes 50 miles as the definition of space. The, the, the NASA recognizes that as the definition, and so does the FAA. From a practical experience, the view out the window is exactly the same. Virgin Galactic's president of space missions and safety, Mike Moses, has a vested interest in this flight. Astronaut 002, Beth Moses. I'll be spaceship cabin lead and test director. His wife, Beth Moses, is one of the crew members flying with Branson. Every single test flight we've done, the last 22, have had people on board, um, and no one person is any real different than the other when it comes to safety. The flight is expected to last about 90 minutes. The spaceship Unity attached to the mothership Eve as it takes off like a plane. At 45,000 feet, Unity drops. That rocket ignites and takes Branson and five others to the edge. Fire. Fire. They will experience weightlessness for a few minutes before returning to the surface. But safety questions will take center stage. It's not clear when the flight was planned, but it was announced just a week ago after Bezos announced he would launch on July 20th. And we should tell you, though, that Virgin Galactic already has FAA approval to fly customers to space. Blue Origin does not, at least not yet. And remember, that launch is just 10 days away. So, Eva, the clock is ticking. Well, and I saw an email from you, Gio. You were telling us some celebrities have already bought seats on Virgin Galactic. Do we know how many people are actually planning on flying? So right now, believe it or not, about 700 people have bought seats on Virgin Galactic. Each one costs about 250 bucks each. So that's why some people are saying, you know what? These are just joy rides for the rich to space. But the companies will say, no, this is just the beginning of opening space up to the general public. So a lot of people are going to be watching that. What? Yeah. A lot of people in the general they public will. wish they had $250,000 to take a little trip. Maybe, maybe, or not. <laughs> I like how they said, no, it's not really a race, though, but then they're like, uh, oh, yeah, but I'm going first. Yeah. And, oh, but, and but the distance our doesn't goes matter. Farther. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but distance doesn't really matter. But seriously, we're not in a race. Gio, thank you so much. We'll be standing by. It'll be fun to watch tomorrow. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.